Hi viewers, Assalamualaikum. I am Nidhi. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody will be good. Alhamdulillah, we are fine. Today, I want to talk about SeaWorld Orca Show. Let's go. Everything I will show you. Which helps stabilize them while they swim and regulate their body temperature. Flippers on either side of the whale's body are called the pectoral flippers, which are mainly used for staring and stopping. The pectoral flipper has five bony digits inside of it, just like the human hand. And the lobes on either side of the whale's tail are called the flukes. Killer whales are highly social animals with a well-defined social structure. An orca pod is always led by a female. Though just half the size of her male counterpart, she is in charge. It's all about Because they live and work as a group, orcas need to communicate with sounds and body Orcas use plates. <laughs> Whistles to socialize in the pod and calls for group coordination and hunting.
killer whales work together to rear their young, protect their pod, and most importantly, pursue and catch their prey. Every day they cooperate to survive in the wild oceans of the world. The orca's hunting techniques are as varied as the whales themselves. Norwegian killer whales will circle Harry. Are you ready to see them get wet? Oh, come on. Are you ready to see them get wet? All right, it looks like we have shoe guys headed your way. Here comes that 55 degree saw one. here at SeaWorld have helped killer whales in the wild by participating in many research studies. One ongoing study monitors the whale's heart rate and breathing to understand how marine noise pollution from ship engines and other sources affect wild populations. In another study, scientists from NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, took measurements of the killer whales living here, including pregnant whales. By comparing these measurements with drone footage of killer whales in the wild, scientists are able to monitor the wild population's nutritional and reproductive states. Other research has been done here at SeaWorld on the mother whale's milk composition. This research will help create an effective model to understand how toxins in the ocean impact wild killer whales and their milk supply. What we learn from the whales in our care every day is actively helping whales in the wild survive. And just by being here today, you've supported our rescue, research, and conservation efforts all around the world. If we work together, like the killer whale, we can protect the future of the Osinus orca and this beautiful planet that we all share.